Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, back again on the desk of slight overexposedness, because we're going to be looking at something up close, and this really is the best way to do it. You don't need to see my mug to have a proper look at it. Instead, let's rip off Stuart Ashen and do it this way. And yes, today we're going to be looking at this. Now, this may look like an ordinary Pro Controller that was slightly out of shot, but in fact, this is no ordinary Pro Controller, as you're about to see. And indeed... This is no ordinary set of slightly out of focus Joy-Con because the fixed focus is pretty, pretty fixed. Anyway, yes, so uh, they look very normal, but uh, as you can see here, there are these little things on the side that also are slightly out of focus, but yes, color wear. Ooh, what could this be? Well, if you know what they are and you've seen the title of the video, you'll know. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's crack these suckers open. I meant to have a knife. Yeah, there we go. I just decided to peel it. I tried using scissors and uh, this is kind of plastic or something. I don't know. It's quite difficult to do all this through a viewfinder. But anyway, let's uh, break this sucker open. I've been waiting weeks for these. Ah, here we go. And open sesame. Ah, out you come. There we are. Lovely cable. Always useful to have a nice, decent USB-C cable like this. Uh, but this is the meat. Oh, I can see it already. Ho 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 ho! Look at that beauty! You know what? How much of that was not in shot? I should be looking through the viewfinder. But yes, look at this beauty! Is it not just a work of gorgeousness? And uh, yes, it's absolutely lovely. Let's have a look at the Joy-Con as well because... Oh, I've got to do some more peeling. Ah! I'm thinking of getting a specific area so that I can actually do this without having to just like clear a bit of my desk and do it there. And maybe then I'd have a bit more room. Here we go. Oh yes, we got these as well. <laughs> super, super spicy. Let's have a look at the first one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. That is indeed a Joy-Con, but this is the one. This is the one where it looks really, really pretty in my opinion because you've got the lovely buttons and there you go that is the business look at those we've got this lovely matte finish they're arguably i'd say maybe more matte than the standard joy con but uh yeah look at those absolutely lovely let's have a look at the whole family together so there we've got a uh, there we go like that and like that and i can't hold the other one up because I can't. Here we go. I fashioned something appropriate. There you go. That is serious. That is a serious look. I'm going to have a quick look at how the uh, Joy-Con look on the Switch, which just so happens to be here. And, uh, ooh, I was on the home menu. And it's covered in fingerprints, so I do apologize for that. Uh, let's just get these suckers out and slide these babies in. <laughs> Paired and paired. Lovely. And uh, on the back, I believe, yes. They've got a lovely sort of grey finish. And yes, that looks, um... What was I doing? Oh, I've just gone to... <laughs> I accidentally tried to go into a uh, into a, a news thing. But that looks absolutely brilliant, doesn't it? Um, I, the only question is, does it actually work properly or have these... Because uh, obviously these are custom. Has that affected how they, uh, how they play at all? Oh, look, you can see me. Hello! Um, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go and find out because uh, I can't really do it with, without doing it. Oh, right, well, I'm back at last, and yes, I've given these a ruddy good seeing to, and you know, tested them out, looked at them closely, and all that jazz to let you know what they're all about. In case I wasn't clear in the unboxing part of the video, which I'm not entirely sure I was, these are custom Pro Controller and Joy... This is a Pro Controller and a set of Joy-Con that have been custom made by Colorware. They are official controllers that have therefore been customized. They're not knockoffs, they're real things. So what do I think of them? Well, I think, and I don't think I need to tell you, they are absolutely gorgeous. To look at, they are phenomenal. I was a little bit worried that maybe, you know, due to the, the various layers of paint and things like that and protective coatings, that maybe some of the buttons would maybe grind or wouldn't behave as you'd expect them to. But no, I've been playing with them for pretty, pretty uh, some time. About an hour and a half, actually, which um, that's a good use of my time. <laughs> 
I would say the only major differences in terms of feel is the fact that these custom buttons here are glossy and I'm not used to that anymore because it's quite a retro thing. It's quite pleasing that they are and because there's only a small area they don't really attract fingerprints or if they do I can't see them. The only other thing would be the fact that they feel... I don't really know how to put this any other way but they feel like they've been painted. That sort of powdery painted feeling however doesn't last. For some reason it did just sort of slowly wear down. I don't really want to say wear down because that makes it sound like it's being scrubbed away which it's not. It just seems to sort of settle a little bit. It's sort of like a powdery coating that eventually just sort of gets blown away from use. It's a good thing. At first I was a little bit worried because I thought, oh no, have they not actually put any protective coating on here? Is this the raw paint? Is it going to scratch off? But uh, I've done a couple of finger nail tests and even tried scratching uh, bits with my ring here, this uh, stainless steel, and uh, no marks on them at all. Top marks if you'll pardon the pun. The only complaint I have is with the right Joy-Con and it is only the right Joy-Con and it's nothing to do with the face buttons or the stick not being properly aligned or anything like that. It feels absolutely perfect. It's the fact that for some reason it seems to bulge in the middle. I can't really show you it on camera here. I'll stick a photo in for you to look at and even then it may not be that clear but there is a distinct bulge and I can squeeze the bulge and um, hmm. I can't say for certain what's causing it, but it is definitely there and it is a bit of a shame. Generally, you don't notice when you're playing, but even so, it just makes me wonder why, it, why is that bulge there? And that's, it's a little bit concerning, but it seems to work absolutely fine. So it's mainly cosmetic, I'd say. If I haven't made it clear enough already, the best part about these is just how they make your Switch look because they are utterly, utterly gorgeous. And at the end of the day, that's what you're going to be purchasing these for if you intend to. And uh, speaking of purchasing, the uh, the price tag. Let's go on to that. The Pro Controller will set you back $189 and a set of Joy-Con will cost you $199. Now that may seem a lot of money and you're right, it is. There's no bones about it. It is a lot of money. It is a luxury item, but that does include the Pro Controller or the Joy-Con units themselves. That's not you sending it in. They will provide the whole thing from start to finish. So there's that. Also bear in mind that these are hand painted. This, this is not something that's come off a factory line. This is not something where they can just press a button and it just makes a load of them really, really quickly. Somebody has to take time and effort and care and a huge amount of skill in order to get these to the degree that they are because the finish is phenomenal. That They are so professional it's almost a little bit embarrassing considering I've tried to do spray painting in the past and it hasn't gone well. These are essentially art. You are paying somebody, an artist, to create these for you from scratch and to do a really professional job. And if you don't think it's worth that price, that's fine. You don't have to buy it. But it's, it's not just something you print out en masse. It's a piece of art. It's custom work. And I, for one, don't think it's unfair to expect a decent artist to expect a decent wage. If you want to learn more about these puppies or pick one up for yourself, then make sure you check the link in the description. Massive thanks to Colorware for sending these over for review. And of course, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you custom paint that subscribe button into lovely retro goodness. Whoa. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,